the Trump administration has put the Palestinians on notice that it will shutter their office in Washington unless they've entered serious peace talks with Israel, U.S. Officials said, potentially giving President Donald Trump more leverage as he seeks an elusive Mideast peace deal. The Palestinian foreign minister denounced the U.S. move as an attempt at extortion. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has determined that the Palestinians ran afoul of an obscure provision in a U.S. law that says the Palestine Liberation Organization's mission must close if the Palestinians try to get the International Criminal Court to prosecute Israelis for crimes against Palestinians. A State Department official said that in September, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas crossed that line by calling on the ICC to investigate and prosecute Israelis. But the law leaves Trump a way out, so Tillerson's declaration doesn't necessarily mean the office will close. Trump now has 90 days to consider whether the Palestinians are in direct and meaningful negotiations with Israel. If Trump determines they are, the Palestinians can keep the office. The official said it was unclear whether the U.S. might close the office before the 90-day period expires, but said the mission remains open at least for now. Even if the office closes, the U.S. said it wasn't cutting off relations with the Palestinians and was still focused on a comprehensive peace agreement between the Israelis and the Palestinians. The State Department official said in an email that this measure should in no way be seen as a signal that the U.S. is backing off those efforts. The official wasn't authorized to publicly discuss the developments and spoke on condition of anonymity. The Palestinian Foreign Minister, Riyad Malki, told Palestine Radio that the Palestinian leadership will not accept any extortion or pressure. Malki said the Palestinians were waiting for further communication from the U.S. Government the ball is now in the American court, he said. The Israeli embassy in Washington did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Although the Israelis and Palestinians are not engaged in active, direct negotiations, Trump's administration has been working all year to broker a peace deal that would end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Led by Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law and a senior aide, White House officials have been preparing a peace proposal they intend to put forward at an unspecified time. The Palestinians, though publicly supportive of the U.S. effort, have been skeptical because Trump's close ties to Israel suggest whatever deal he proposes might be unfavorable to them. The threat of losing their office in the U.S. capital could become another pressure point as the Trump administration seeks to persuade the Palestinians to come to the table. The PLO is the group that formally represents all Palestinians. Although the U.S. does not recognize Palestinian statehood, the PLO maintains a general delegation office in Washington that facilitates Palestinian officials' interactions with the U.S. government.